Uh, for a format that uh, is not a format that the girls are used to. It's, some of them is the first time they had an opportunity, especially the youngsters. So how it started and uh, how it, the way it finished, it became a very competitive game. You could see that it required a lot from the girls, especially time on their legs, to be able to make sure to make the right uh, adjustments and the fitness levels that they needed for this, uh, the past four day game. So we thoroughly enjoyed it and the girls had fun. So it's, uh, uh, for them, uh, most of them, you see how they can start uh, uh, applying the game plans, what they've learned in the, in the red, uh, red ball format, and what is required for them to make sure that they give themselves a chance in the game. So those skills we discussed thoroughly and then can even post the game. Most of the girls now could see what is required, so hence they're looking forward to the next uh, three day game. The patience. I think the patience or the most of the batters and bowlers applied because they realize now it's not uh, just uh, bowling five overs or ten overs in a day. You're required to bowl more and be able to put pressure. It also boiled down to this uh, tactical thinking around the game. So, which was very good, and I think it's something that has developed. It's something we always have to work towards because your situation is tougher, and as the wicket uh, became low and slow at the end of uh, the last uh, day, it required bowlers now to adapt their lengths and batters now to come with strategies. So, they realized they need to take 20 wickets to win a game. So, it became a very competitive uh, uh, game between bat and ball, which was very good to see. The players have done well. I think overall, as uh, you can see the accolades now, Ayabonga being in the team of the fair break, Sune Marizan Cup in the final, it shows that, uh, and they also making bigger difference in their teams uh, throughout the thing. And then even our Minion Dupre went, Shepnam Ishmael always, they ever consistent. And we're just pleased that they could actually be in those leagues and not just be numbers and they're competing and they're doing well for their team, So, which is always good for us as a team going forward. So. We're very happy for them and uh, uh, the, all the accolades that they got, they deserve and well deserved and we'll celebrate with them when they come back. You know, uh, uh, Red Bull cricket for me is something that I've always grown up watching. Um, and I think just being out there now, it, it's kind of mentally taxing, I'm not going to lie. Um, I think the prep as a wicketkeeper in Red Bull is just about temperament. Um, as I said, I like making some better jokes there with my fielders just to get everyone energised and ready. And I think how we've been handling it now has been really good. I think the biggest lessons now coming in is we have to bat long um, and strike rate doesn't matter as long as you put yourself in and I feel like uh, with the 50s that we've seen everyone literally picked up their hand and like, they batted time. It was never like rushed or anything um, and you know it's just amazing to see the little ones coming in and just actually boiling like 20. Yeah.